It's the best time of the day. It's time for Top That Tray. Joining us now, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Uckman, an options trading pro, ready to go a few rounds in the game that we call Top That Trade. Here we go with round number one. Grocery gasps. Amazon's buyout of Whole Foods is sending shockwaves through grocery store stocks. Can you name a retail stock or a grocery stock that is Amazon proof? Well, this food fight is not over. Not over. I don't think Amazon's going to take out Whole Foods. And looking at the market, Whole Foods is trading at 3% above the bid price. Okay. So other players could come in. This is still in play. This is not over. There are other people. Kroger, for example, they want to make a play for this stock and it's not over. Of course, Amazon has a lot more money than Kroger. They can pay almost any right, price. Right, but the question is, are they going to up, you know, up their bid? If there, if there becomes a battle, a war, you know, who wants well, to fight Amazon? Well, I think, I think you know, Jeff Bezos gets what Jeff Bezos wants. wants and right, Jeff okay. Bezos has a lot of cash right now. So yeah, this I is think nothing. Win even that. if he paid for this out of his pocket, it's only yeah. $14 billion. But and he's I think worth... even, I think Kroger's stock is a good buy right. because even if they don't get this, I think it'll be good. But I'll tell you what, look at look at what Amazon is, should buy next is, is Saudi Aramco. Look at the price of oil. Oil's tanking. What, is, what do they buy Saudi Aramco? Okay, they we'll get to that in just it. a second. What, what? companies are Amazon Proof. They say Costco. Uh, they say that some of the like TJ Maxx and some of the discount places. They say some of the high-end stuff like Tiffany. I don't know. I think one stock that could be negatively impacted by this is Berkshire Hathaway because this is going to hurt grocery margins. And how many packaged good companies does uh, Mr. Buffett have? And Mr. Buffett actually is now in second, third place behind uh, behind Bezos and behind. Um, uh, Bill Gates. Well, I, I think it's also going to hurt your General Mills. Let's move it along to round number two, Crude Crush. Crude is officially in bear market territory. What do you think is driving down the price of crude oil? Well, I, I think it's a frenzy that does, isn't really based in reality. It's right been straight now. down 20 percent, 15 percent straight down with any out any bounces. So as a trader, it's really hard to evaluate to see how the price action is moving if it's only going one direction. Well, the only thing I know in the fundamental world, one of the reasons why people keep saying that oil is going down is because U.S. producers are supposedly producing so that's much nothing oil. new. Well, it isn't nothing new. And that's my point. If, if oil prices are at these levels, we're not going to see U.S. production go up. Forget the talk about twenty five dollars shell it ain't happening you're already going to see the rig counts fall and i'll tell you this sell-off in oil did a lot of damage to u.s energy companies look at all the downgrades of energy this stock but by the, the stock market's players. still holding up at its high so just imagine if the oil companies can stabilize and that helps the whole market i think you're going to get a big run back up on oil but i'll tell you what listen we've been bullish believe, so we're kind of wrong but it depends on your time frame i'm right. looking at options in january and and then we've further out for next year options in december of this year december 2018 a good play and I'll tell you what. So we're wrong, but we're not wrong yet. Oh, you're going to love round number three. How now, brown cow? A surprising number of people believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Would you graze in the cattle market right here at these current levels? More disturbing is 48% yep. of people don't know how chocolate milk is made. How do you make it? <laughs> All right, let's get on to the question. So, What's been happening in the cattle business, live cattle contract has dropped 10% straight down in about two weeks. Yep. Now we've got the cattle on feed come, report coming up, but what, what's with all the wackiness in cattle prices? Well, it's, I think a lot of it's been weather. You know, earlier we had a heat wave that couldn't bring a lot of meat to the market. Whether, whether we're going to eat steak up. or not? It was, well, that too. Demand. Or weather, I mean, we, or well, weather, weather. It was hot temperatures. Right. Uh, they couldn't bring meat to the market. It drove up the wholesale prices through the roof. People couldn't get enough of it. Then all of a sudden, the temperatures cooled down. Then you had a bunch of cattle that were sitting on the farm getting fat, so they bring them to the market. They're even heavier than they were before, and we've already get, get getting close to the peak of the summer barbecue season at the 4th of July. So okay. you put it all together, it starts to look a little more bearish okay. after being so bullish. Obviously, you know a lot more about cows than I do. Uh, I haven't spent a whole, lot of time, chocolate milk. a whole lot of time on the farm, obviously, and we don't need to tell anyone that. That. Uh, but cattle had kind of a double top at around this 135 level and uh, drop back. So if it came back up to those highs again, it's projecting 150. And just in 2014, we're at 175. So I still think there's more upside because there's always price shock potential if something happens. Weather-wise, you said it gets really hot. Remember the drought we had a couple years ago sure. and what's happened to cattle then? So, right. you know, let's see. Plus, corn prices are always a wild card. And here's your bonus round question for today. The house has been winning a lot lately, guys. Here we go. What came first? Chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? 
Ooh, good question. I'm mm. gonna. I think it's a. Trick Are we talking question. about historically? Like historically, the, wasn't the Aztecs that used to use chocolate, cocoa instead of gold? <clears throat> All right, the first ice cream. Or we can go the back to like Fair. vanilla. Vanilla beans came from Africa, right? So okay. it depends on. Wasn't the same the first? But ice in, cream Africa, in America, in Africa, was I don't after, think they, I don't think they made ice cream I think in it Africa. Was in the World's Fair was when it went public, right? That was the first time it went public. The, the ice cream is pu I, the, there's an IPO. F there was an IPO for ice cream. Yes. It was at the St. Louis <laughs> Did it Fair. melt? No, was it was started, it a melt? <laughs> was it a melt up no, or when a melt down? They first down? started to sell it. Okay. Oh, okay this okay. is the bottom line. All, All right. right. I say chocolate because vanilla sounds too obvious. Yeah, I'm going with the chocolate. You licked it. The answer is chocolate. Great yes. job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for being on the show. Business First AM continues right after this.